family family welcome back to auntie pizza yard yes i changed my name just a little make it easy for everyone to hit that text it subscribe it like it and share it so here's what we're doing today again we talk about not doing simple things but yet keeping it simple so today we're doing kids friendly daddy friendly make you happy chicken which is a bourbon barbecue fried chicken again it's a bourbon barbecue fried chicken we go turn this sucker out now it's gonna be a little longer than my 30 minutes that I normally tell you but sometimes you just gotta put in some time to get it right like share subscribe on TV restaurant time yeah love you boo -boo. I have 10 pound of chicken pieces I've already gone through extra skin etc fat etc clean it up wash it nice and clean now what we're going to do is going to be this we're going to season this chicken but then we're also going to season the flour and the stuff that we're going to use so we are about ready to make this thing here do some fantastic stuff so we're going to take it step by step look carefully because i don't want you to miss this i am telling you you are going to look at fried chicken on a whole different level of excitement. Picnic, lunch, dinner. I'm telling you, it's going to be remarkably tasty. Now, because I'm using so much chicken today, we're using a, a 10 pound pack, right? I am using more salt than I normally like to use, right? So I'm going to use two tablespoons. So I'm using two tablespoons of salt. And we're gonna put this mixture in, right? I'm in turn going to use more than two tablespoons of black pepper because I'm going to use four tablespoons of the black pepper. Now what I'm going to do with that is this. I'm going to use some of this mixture to season the chicken and then I'm gonna turn around and use that to season my flour. I'm going to only use one tablespoon of paprika. The kicker is, I'm also going to use one tablespoon of obe, of obe seasoning. Now that is optional. You don't have to. Um, it's it's just a preference. Now, I'm also going to use some adobo, right? I'm going to use four tablespoons of that adobo because that adobo had so much different seasoning and flavor to that chicken. Along with that, we're gonna do that garlic. Garlic is not harmful, right? So we're gonna put in four tablespoons of that garlic. Boom, there it is. So that's gonna be my mixture for my seasoning of my chicken. Now, along with that, I have a cup of milk, one cup of milk. Now, as you know, milk, oil, helps to keep your seasoning sticking to your meat. It also adds moisture, so it helps to tenderize that chicken so All right, so that's what we're gonna do with this fried chicken. This is what we're gonna put milk onto my chicken. There, 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 there. And I'm gonna allow that to do what it does. This. I have all my seasoning mixture all in there, right? We got it nicely in. We got it looking good. So then we're gonna go ahead and get it on my chicken, right? And we're gonna ensure that this is nicely coated. Okay, okay, okay. As I said, I made the complete mixture because I'm gonna then season my flour with the rest. But now I gotta get this chicken nice. And it's some cold milk because it's gonna help to hold all of that in and get that chicken nice and well coated and well seasoned right so here we go and i already got my flour so now i'm gonna season my flour so i'm gonna allow this to sit a little bit sit just a little bit i want each piece to get that seasoning in there 
make sure that everything when you take a bite you're tasting flavor you're tasting excitement what that chip people say one piece ain't enough ah there we go that's what we're doing family right we're going to do it just like that we're going to set it aside so family i'm using two cups of flour half cup of cornstarch it's going to help get that chicken even crispier right so we're going to do we'll just hold that seasoning to the meat now here we're going to go the fun stuff we're going to dip and then double dip this is the one time you're allowed to double dip so we're going to do that just like that now if you don't want to get your hands dirty or your utensils here's a here's an option for you here is an option for you you can use a ziplock bag shake and bake drop it shake it and put it on and i'm putting using a sheet tray a cookie sheet paper or pan sorry i'm using a cookie sheet pan because i'm as i'm putting them in i'm gonna coat it but i'm gonna let it sit and then go back and recoat because i want that nice crunch because when i'm done i'm adding some barbecue sauce that burp and the barbecue sauce so you still want to have that crunchiness in it and make sure that everything is nice and crunchy but yet tasty so i went through and i put each piece nice now as the seasoning and the flour sort of gel into the chicken it's going to look a little damp so here's what we're going to do we're going to wet this boy up and now we're going to double dip right as i said the only time you're allowed to double dip is this moment only this moment all right so this is what we do first dip now we're going to double dip They go that flower again. They go what's remained of. There goes what's remained of my marinade of chicken season, right? So this is what we're gonna dip, 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 and then flour again, right? Now while we're doing this, I'm getting my oil. I'm using about two cups of oil, maybe more depending on on how it looks once you put oil in. And again, the more chicken you do, you, you have to adjust your, your ratio of seasoning along with the amount of oil to make it work. Using a deep fryer is easier. Um, many people like the new air fryers, but I'm old school sometimes, right? We, not, we haven't gotten there yet. This is what we're doing. Make it sloppy, make it greasy. If you're going to enjoy it, shit, just go do ahead and enjoy it. Enjoy it. So, Double dipping, baby. We're gonna be double dipping only today, right? So we're doing that, and we're gonna go through the process as we did before, as I said before, and dip, flour, and lay it out. You're gonna get some nice, tender, tasty, crunchy chicken. Now, as I said, this is Auntie P's special version. We're doing this as a bourbon. Now I'll tell you when we're gonna add that alcohol to turn this bad boy up a, a notch, all right? And and again, it's it's because it's it's gonna be cooked, children can have this. We won't violate no laws, right? Children can have this. It's gonna be cooked out so they won't really get high, get fun. We're gonna watch this boy sizzle. Oh yeah, baby. Now we're not gonna overcrowd this because we want our chicken still to be very crispy so we want it to have its own space so to make sure that your chicken is, is properly cooked of course chicken is supposed to be 165 degrees internally <clears throat> now if you do not have a thermometer to check a food thermometer to check the temperature of that chicken right it's okay to break it if you got any kind of pink any kind of blood you ain't ready you're just not ready. So what we're gonna do is, as I said, we're gonna do this, but because I'm also gonna add it in the oven, we're gonna even cook some more. So this bad boy is gonna be cooked. Either way, all the way through. Love it, like, share, subscribe. I'll just be restaurant a yacht. Turn up, baby. Now little tricks on cooking chicken. If you wanna know your chicken is cooked, right? If it tend to wanna float, you're there. 
we're not using that. We're gonna go about it the right way. Family, you're gonna say this is the happy part, right? So what we're gonna do is simple. I got me some mm, whiskey. So we got that bourbon. I'm gonna use a quarter cup mm, of bourbon. There you go. Now <clears throat> we are going to spice this up just a little. We're gonna use some hot sauce, right? Now this is a preference, your call, your choice. How you like it is up to you. And again, because we're making this kids friendly, if you don't want to make it spicy, your call, right? So I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of hot sauce. Now here's where it get funky. Depending on how you like it, how you want it, I'm gonna be using some barbecue sauce. The issue with this now is this. We want our chicken to have a nice coat, right? You may have to use a whole bottle. <clears throat> it's depending on how much chicken you're using. But if you really want to stretch your barbecue sauce, add yourself some sugar. Just some tricks of the trade. Add yourself some sugar, add yourself some ketchup. It helps to stretch that barbecue sauce. So, chicken fry. Yes, we got that fried chicken. We have our barbecue sauce. Uh, with the bourbon. Now what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna sort of dip it in there, get a nice coat on it. Yes, just like that. Just like that, right? Now, we're gonna sit it on a tray and we're gonna put it in the oven for another 20 minutes to solidify that barbecue sauce. 20 minutes just to allow all of this wonderful sauce to now saturate the chicken that when you take a bite you go mad just totally absurd but i'm telling you back there that 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 thing back there that just make you salivate you think you're drinking water when you're done because you're salivating so much look at this Oh, look at that pulse. Look at that dripping, right? Right. You're going to put it in. It is so good it won't even come up. And what's great about this is the perfect crunch of chicken is that because I'm now adding the sauce and because of how crunchy it is, it's not being soggy. So can you imagine what we're going to do? In a using a perforated or a wired pan. And the reason for that is to allow the chicken not to sit in its juice and then become soggy, right? So we are doing that, ensuring that each piece gets nicely coated with this barbecue sauce. And we're gonna put it in the oven to sort of bake all of that barbecue, that bourbon barbecue sauce in. And again, it's a matter of choice still because you can you can tear this bad boy up as is. So we're having a little bit of a kick. Yet that spirit. <laughs> Yet that crunchiness of that chicken. Mad Auntie P said, like, share, subscribe. Auntie P, restaurant Aya. Love you, boo boo. Look it, family, look it, look at it. 20 minutes later, out of the oven. Ah, yeah, yeah, look it, look it. Look at that, family. Look at that, 20 minutes later, out of the oven. Some bourbon barbecue fried chicken. Bourbon fried. Chicken, no. Three take Auntie P. Bourbon fried chicken. When I tell you this is so tasty, so good, so great, so wonderful. Look at it. 
I know you taste it. Where is your family? Like, share, subscribe. Yeah, y'all think I done hit my head, right? I'm telling you. Look at that. I know you taste it. I know. Wipe the lips. I know you're drooling. Try it. Lovely. Nieces, nephew. What do you say? Bourbon. Barbecue. Fried chicken. With a side of home potatoes. Oh my God. What do you say? KFC. Popeyes ain't got nothing on Auntie P's. Like, share, subscribe. Love you, boo boo. Oh, look at that taste. Look at it. Look at it. Go look at it. Mud. It's just oh so so good. I feel like I need to have a franchise. Oh, this is really for food lovers. This is truly, really for food lovers. When I say cook all the way through. I tell you, my mother gonna slap me. I'm talking with food in my mouth. I'm sucking my finger. There's so many violations. But when I tell you, sir. Love you, boo boo. Love you, boo boo. No, I ain't the bourbon talking. Enjoy.